I love to sing in my music room. We love to dance and whistle too. We love to sing in my music room. We love to play. today. Let's sing our hello song. Grab your shakers or clap your hands. Hello my friends, hello my friends, how are you today? Hello my friends, hello my friends, now it's time to play. Hello, hello, hello to you today. Yay! <laughs> Good job, friends. Today in Sarah's Music Room, we are talking about becoming a butterfly. Wow, so beautiful. This process is also called metamorphosis. Can you say metamorphosis? Great job, friends. So there are four stages to becoming a butterfly. Let's count together. One, two, three, four. Let's sing about it. Cuckoo caterpillar, cuckoo caterpillar, cuckoo caterpillar, cuckoo caterpillar. pretend egg. We'll pretend that this is a little egg that's going to hatch on a leaf. Now I have a real leaf here. The actual size of a caterpillar butterfly egg is really, really much, much more tiny than this. It's so, so tiny, but I wanted you to be able to see it. So a female butterfly lays a tiny little egg on a leaf. Here, let's take a little tiny piece of Play-Doh and put it on the leaf. See, pretend that that's the egg and it hatches and turns into a tiny caterpillar. Let's sing. Cuckoo caterpillar, cuckoo caterpillar, cuckoo caterpillar, cuckoo caterpillar. You're just a cuckoo caterpillar. stage and becoming a butterfly, the larva stage, or that's when our butterfly is first a caterpillar. Yay! What does the caterpillar do? The caterpillar eats and 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 eats some more. Wow. And the more the caterpillar eats, the bigger and bigger it gets. Let's look at a big caterpillar. Whoa, it's a big Play-Doh caterpillar. Now when caterpillars eat and eat, 
they shed their skin because their skin becomes too small for them. So it sheds its skin many, many times. And then after that, we get to the next stage. Stage number one, two, three. The pupa stage. Now the caterpillar, let's pretend this is a chrysalis. This is a little cocoon. The caterpillar is wrapped up in a little tiny cocoon. Now, depending on the type of caterpillar, it could be hanging from a little branch like this, or it could be in hidden among some leaves or even underground. Just depends on what type of caterpillar it is going to become. But this one will say it's hanging from a branch and it's inside a little cocoon of silk called a chrysalis. It's also called the pupa stage. And it stays there for weeks, sometimes months. And then it becomes a Are, its wings are so wet, so they have to dry before it can fly away. Now, do I have a butterfly here? Not a real butterfly, but I do want to show you. Friends, look at all the butterflies. This is a butterfly puzzle that we've put together here in Sarah's music room, and it has many, many different types of butterflies. There's really big ones, lots of different colors, and each of these butterflies has a name. For instance, this is called a monarch butterfly. That's right. And some of these are called types of swallowtails, swallowtail butterflies. There's also a cabbage white butterfly. They all have different names, but look how beautiful they are. What kind of butterflies can you see in your neighborhood? Wow, so let's sing and name the stages of metamorphosis again. Number one, egg. Remember our little egg? Let's take a look. Oy, 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 so little. <sighs> Number one, egg. Number two, larva. That's right, or caterpillar. This is when the caterpillar just eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and eats. Number three, do you remember? Pupa. That's right. That's when the caterpillar is all wrapped up in a cocoon or chrysalis hanging here from a branch, just changing into our fourth stage. Number four, butterfly. That's right. Let's sing Cuckoo Caterpillar one more time. Ready? Cuckoo Caterpillar, Cuckoo Caterpillar, Cuckoo Caterpillar, Cuckoo Caterpillar. talking about the four stages of metamorphosis and becoming a butterfly. Now it's not time for our songbook yet, 
but I have one of my favorite books here that I would love to read to you if that's okay. It's called From Caterpillar to Butterfly by Deborah Heiligman, illustrated by Barry Weissman. Let's read. Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards. But we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid an egg on a leaf. A butterfly is an insect. Look, there's the egg. The egg is tiny. It is the size of a pinhead. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. The mother butterfly lays her eggs on plants that the caterpillar will eat. These are called host plants. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat so it will grow and grow and grow. The caterpillar is called the larva. Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar. Each day it is bigger. The caterpillar eats and grows for 12 to 14 days. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my little finger now. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button of silk. Take a look, there's a button of silk. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the last time. Instead of a new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. There's the chrysalis. Let's take a look. The chrysalis is also called the pupa. Every day, the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening, but inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. The caterpillar stays in the chrysalis about one week. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. 
We wait and wait and wait. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, look, and we all rush over to see. The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly, and we saw it happen. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled. It hangs on to the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and dry. Soon our butterfly will be ready to fly. In two hours, the wings are dry and the butterfly is ready to fly. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar. The butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coiled tube called a proboscis. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. Painted lady butterflies sip nectar from certain flowers. They like thistle, burdock, zinnia, butterfly bush, and mint. How many different kinds of butterflies can you find around your neighborhood? Here are some common ones to look for. Monarch, found in most areas of the United States. Black swallowtail found in all areas but the very far west. Cabbage white, found throughout the United States. Dog face butterfly, found throughout the south, migrates through the Midwest to the Northeast and Canada. Common blue, found in the western part of the United States. Buckeye, found in most areas of the United States except for the Pacific Northwest. The end. Wow, I loved reading that book. I hope you liked listening and looking at the pictures. <gasps> What's this? It's time for our songbook. Our songbook today is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. For my sister, Krista. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. It started to look for some food on Monday. He ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, 
one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. Ow. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and <gasps> he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. Friends, I had a wonderful time with you today talking about the four stages of metamorphosis or becoming a butterfly. Let's sing our goodbye song. Clap your hands or shake your shakers. Ready? Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. We had fun and we played. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye to you today, yay! See you next time.